Hello, Stampers. Welcome to my Facebook Live unboxing of all my new product. And I don't want to mislead you because I have already taken it out of the box. That's kind of a disaster if you don't do that <laughs> because it just takes so much time to pull everything out and take everything out of the plastic wrappings and all of that stuff. So I wanted to let you know that I have already taken it out of the box, but I have all of my new stuff here as promised to share with you. Right now I am trying to find my the right group so I can see what's going on here in Facebook and who is popping on to watch with me. So give me just a second here. There I am. Make sure that my computer is muted. Nobody wants to hear me twice. <laughs> yeah, and we're a go. I can finally see you. Yay. And here come your comments. I see Jean is here and Joe and Sharon and Trudy. Who else do we have here? Haley is watching. Denise, um, Sharon, did I say Trudy? Stacy's here, Kathy Miller, we've got everybody popping on. So <clears throat> I did unpack all my stuff, you guys, and I just have to let you know that because um, like all of these dyes, I've taken them out of the package and I've pulled them out of the, the inserts, the plastic things, because otherwise it like takes forever, right? So what I plan on doing for you today is showing you all the new products that I got. And then I have my Happy Mail to go through. And I also have a stack of swap cards that I've gotten already using some of the pre-order stuff that I'm gonna share with you. So I'm excited to be able to do this today. And, and um, I did go for my bike ride today. Do you like, this is Kelly's hair unaltered right out of the shower. So I planned on going live a little earlier today, but then Haley messaged me and said she was on her way. So I don't want to be in the middle of, you know, doing this when she arrived. And so I waited for that. She's going to be my new virtual assistant. So I kind of got her to work over here and she's feeding Val right now out in the living room. In the meantime, the cat threw up all over the place. <laughs> Maybe that's too much information, but that's real life with Kelly. So I had to take care of all that. And uh, I think I've got it under control now. Yeah, so we're ready to roll. I think what I'm gonna do here, I'm just gonna start grabbing my new stuff because I've got it kind of piled up all over the place. And, oh, I didn't open these up yet, but I don't really like to take the wrappers off of them until I get the stickers on them <laughs> because this is our new, whoops, sorry, new rectangular postage stamp punch. And isn't that amazing? Yeah love this. I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with it. I can just stack those over here. We also have the fancy tag topper punch out of here. This is what it looks like. So we, I love tag topper punches. It just makes life so much easier, right? So I'm assuming this is a two inch. You cut your paper two inch, throw it in there, and it's going to give you a really cool top like that. Yeah. Then let's see, I've got, oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. This is the, um, hang on, whale punch. Ooh, there's a fancy name. <laughs> I could have guessed that one, right? But I am in a swap where we have to, we pick a suite of products and I have to design four cards using the products from that suite. And then we swap them out. So I have to make four different cards and I think there's 10 or 11 people in that suite group. And so I make all those cards and send them off to the people. And then I also get four cards from each one of the suites to share with you guys. And um, it's just one of the fun things that I love to do. This is the whale punch and my suite is the whale suite. And when Haley saw it in the catalog last week, cause she really hasn't looked at the catalog until then. She was like, oh my gosh, I know, I love it. I have some paper here to share with you and some embellishments that I'll share with you, but I'm super excited about this punch. Move this off to the side so it doesn't, I just had everything tip over a few minutes ago. It just like fell on my floor and I'm like, oh, are you kidding me? Now, this gorgeousness is the rainbow glimmer paper. Look how beautiful it is. Like, oh, look, you can see myself. I have a delay. <laughs> um, I can see myself in the whale punch as I'm watching. 
which is a little tricky, but look at how pretty this is. And I think what I'm gonna do guys is I'm going to turn my camera around so that I can use my tabletop here to show you this stuff. Cause I just think it's a little bit easier and it'll help me so I can see what's going on. Cause there's such a delay. I'm using zoom again, zooming to Facebook and there's a big delay. Oh, look at that glimmer paper. See, now I'm just seeing what I was just talking about. Okay, hang tight. I'm gonna do a little maneuvering here. What is this? Make sure I got all my junk out of the way. And here we go. Yay! Okay, let's see. I've got the adhesive sheets. If you guys remember these adhesive sheets, we've had these before. And this is so you can like stick this to cardstock and die cut it, and then it turns it into like a sticker. This is really good for like letters and stuff that's kind of persnickety as far as being really kind of detailed. Um, also little tiny items work good for this. So it's, it's sticker paper on both sides. I'm glad we got these back. We've had them before. Then I have this beautiful um, under, no, sorry, little details embossing folder. There's two of them in this pack. Oh, I was going to run these through the, the machine so I could show them to you, but I forgot. Oh, that's really hard to see, but this is what the pattern looks like. So you can see what it's got going on there. That's pretty. And then the other one looks like this. So these are actually designed for our mini machine. They will fit in the mini Stampin' and, or Emboss machine. Those machines, by the way, I wanna give you a little update on that. They're not ready yet. Um, Stampin' Up! has told us that we will hear when they're going to be released in the next four to six weeks, they're gonna be able to give us a date. So. If you're in need of a new um, big die cutting machine or you want to get one of these minis, I think that's going to be really nice to keep on our desk. Um, I will have more information for you about those. I'd say within the next six weeks, we'll at least know when they're going to be released. So this is, again, little details embossing folders. Try to get the glare off of that. Here is another set. This is the Meadow Moments embossing folders. And we've got a pretty little leaves down here. And then these butterflies with some sprigs of uh, greenery. Look how I hope you can see these. That's kind of tricky. Don't worry, I'll be using them so I can show them to you in real life, right? Again, that one is the Meadow Moments. And then I'm gonna go back to Facebook now because I can't see your comments on Zoom. This is kind of back and forth, back and forth. If I missed any question that you had, please post it again. I'm kind of watching that. Oh, here comes Haley. She's gonna monitor messages for me. Thank goodness. Because it's really tricky when you have to use so many different things. Oh, I see Marianne and Claudia and Lisa popped in. This is the Seabed 3D embossing folder. Now this goes along with that adorable whale punch. And we also have some whale paper. So look at how pretty that is. Yeah. This is very detailed. Oh my goodness, gorgeous. Look at how pretty that is. I wonder if I put the paper inside. No, you can't see it any better, but I think you guys are gonna love this. Then I have the Dainty Diamonds 3D embossing folder. And this is, that's exactly what it is, this little Dainty Diamonds. Hang on, hope you can see that but it's a very pretty little design. This is gonna make a great little background. Okay, so hang tight. Yeah, hang on. I'm going to um, go back to me just briefly. Oh, look who's here. <laughs> and she was laughing at Granny, weren't you? You were smiling and you were so happy. She started smiling just for me a few minutes ago. I'm sure of it. <laughs> Hi, baby girl. Oh, look at, look at, she loves me. <laughs> so cute. And hi to Haley, too. Belle. Like how I do that? You used to be the center of attention. I know. But not so much anymore. My days are over. Granny loves you. Yes, she does. Ah, you like my crown, right? Belle's got some crowns. We're going to have to get some crowns on her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So anyways, getting some baby snuggles. Um, a little while later, Anna is coming over with Molly and Andy and probably Sarah, her friend is coming over with her kids and we're going to be out by the pool. 
probably till late afternoon and then I'll be back in here working. So don't worry, it's gonna be a full day for me, but I'm gonna take some time with family today. So I'm kind of excited about that. I'm going to spotlight my desk again, <laughs> back to work. Okay, this I think is one of my favorite folders. This is the Dandelions 3D embossing folder, you guys. And look at, it makes Dandelions. I can't wait, I just can't wait to use this. I might use this for one of my swaps right away because um, I think making cards with this is gonna be super easy because you've got your design right here, right? I have some pretty good ideas with this. So um, next, I've got some kits here. Hang on, I'll show you those in a moment. Let me get back over to Facebook where I can see comments. Oh, everybody's saying hi, Haley. Oh my goodness. Just looking at the comments. <laughs> Look at the baby. I know, isn't she just precious? She's getting a little double chin. And I always say a fat baby is a happy and a healthy baby. So we're trying to pork her up pretty good. <laughs> Amy says, oh, she's so pretty. I know she really is pretty, isn't she? Um, it still says Zoom on my screen. Yeah, you're going to always see the Zoom as long as I am streaming from Zoom, Angie. And um, somebody told me last week that the last Zoom that I did, things were blurry here on my screen and they were, I went back and looked and I'm like, oh, now I can't use Zoom. Like, what am I gonna do? So I decided to give it a try again today. So this is called Banner Blooms Dyes. This goes with the artistry blooms. Let me see if I can find that stamp set. Um, hang on, you guys, I'm gonna find it and maybe not going to find it. It's in my tile over there. This is going to be my first online class for June. Now that's the online class where if you buy the bundle from me, you get the class for free. It's on page 130, 132. So, and I'll find the stamp set in a little while when we go through the stamp sets, but okay. So here it is. <gasps> Isn't this amazing? I know this is called the artistry blooms. And Barb, Dina, and I do an online class every month together. And what we're going to do is when you buy this suite of products plus the quarter inch crinkled whisper white seam binding, because that's going to be part of our online class. When you buy those items from us through a form that you're going to fill out, I order them for you. You are going to get the online class for free. And you also get the pre-cut cardstock pack for free. Let me show you one of those. Now, I do not have the cards designed for this. So this is not the pack that goes with this one. This is the Ornate Garden online class. That was a whole bunch of cards. I think there's like 12 cards in this one, but you get a packet like this. Everything is cut and ready to roll for you. You also get scraps so that you can see how everything's cut up here. You also get scraps so that you can punch or die cut things that you might need to do that with. And then I think for around $56, you can add on, oh no, never mind, never mind about that. that that's for my other class. Um, designer series paper you're going to get, that shimmery um, glimmer paper you're going to get. You're going to have to have the stamp set and the dies. And remember, when you're looking in the catalog, here's the stamp set. Here's the matching dies. It just shows you a tiny little picture, but it tells you that you can see a big picture on page 175. When you buy the stamp set and the dies together, you get a 10% discount. So don't use the item code here and um, the item code that's on page 175 for the dies. You want to use the bundle one and get both of them to save 10%. So um, back, well, here it is. I can show it to you in kind of real life, right? This is as real life as we get. <laughs> and it works, but isn't this gorgeous? I can't even wait to play with this. Okay, let's keep moving along. These are the dies for the peony set. And that's another one of our sweets. Barb and Dina and I do have this on our list of classes we're going to be doing probably in July. So here's the beautiful peony garden suite on page 82, it starts. 
got the beautiful paper, the ribbon. I used that ribbon last night in my alternate cards with that um, gorgeous mm, posy kit. I also used the beautiful embellishments here with the card I made last night. And then here is the gorgeous stamp set and there's a set of dies. Here are the dies that go with it. Look at that fun element for an edgelet. I love edgelets, not gonna lie. And I'm just watching my streaming to make sure that I'm not blurry. I think if I move things too fast, it gets blurry. So I'll try to be more mindful of that. Okay, I'm just looking at comments here, you guys, trying to keep up with that. Haley, are you watching comments? Okay, good. You watch comments if somebody needs an answer. All right, next, this looks like, oh, oh, this is the love you more than dies. My friend Connie Stewart designed the stamp set that goes with the nothing better than it's called. And that's going to be the class that Ashley and I do together. It's going to be my kit class for the month. Here it is. This stamp set goes along with these dies. And you can see the dies right here or on page 176, but it cuts out these words, love you more than, and then it has, it has cookies and chocolate and cocktails and coffee. Some really, really fun little elements in here. I love this little fufu drink. Coffee cup, the chocolates, the cookies. So this is gonna be my kit class. Ashley and I are gonna be announcing that on Friday, June 12th. So watch for that. Um, I said last night what we're including with it. Oh, the Whisper White Crinkle Seam Binding. You guys are gonna love that because you can turn it any color you want. We're gonna be adding the Bright Designer Series paper. Um, our new stamp and seal tape runner. We're going to throw one of those in the kit and then something else. I can't remember, but it's going to be amazing. And you're going to love it. I promise you. So that's these dies. Oh, and then this is another little bundle. This is hippo and friends dies. And I'll show you that stamp set in a minute, but look at all these layering stitched dies. Well, these aren't stitched, but these are stitched and these are stitched. And then you have these little guys and look at, this is gonna make a great string for a balloon, right? Or just some cute little embellishment on your card. I'm super excited about this. Then we have the field tiles dies. Very, very cool. Haley requested this one. So she'll be designing with this. Oh, who doesn't love some alphabets? This is the playful alphabet dies and look at how small they are. We've had big alphabets in the past, but these are nice and small. These are gonna be fabulous for stamping or scrapbooking. I know Haley's gonna be using a lot of these, I'm sure. Um, this is also, I think, part of the product playground or something like that. I'll show you that in a minute, but it's really cool. Triangles. Do you remember the scrapbook pages that Haley made? I was so excited to show her these triangle dies and I made sure that I ordered that bundle for her. She had to cut all her triangles by hand. She was way ahead of the game on being on trend because now Stampin' Up! has a triangle bundle. So these are really cool. These are called stitched triangle dies. <laughs> Joe just asked, did you get the triangles? Yes, Joe, we did. They come in these plastic cases and then they're also in a clear envelope that I just took all of these out of. So you've got these plastic cases and they just slip right in here and that secures them. I've also got on my list of things for Haley to do is to use my label maker to put a label for the name of each one. It's on this insert, but when I'm digging through my bin, this is kind of hard to read. So I want a label up here that's bigger that shows me the name. Um, these are the fabulous florals dies. Look at how pretty this is. Oh my goodness. And then of course there's a bunch of flowers that match this. I couldn't get it together enough, you guys, to bring the stamp set out with the dies. I thought I'm going to be here all day and I'm not going to get my Facebook live done. So I'll show you the stamp sets in a minute. Look at this one. This is called happy dies. It, it die cuts this happy word. Like it's so cool. Um, I'll show it to you in a second with the stamp set. I think you're going to love that too. And again, we've got a balloon die here. So a star, here's a cute little balloon string, some stars and a bow. 
and then some edgelets that make neat designs. This one is called Wreath Builder Dies. I was really excited about this. I, we don't have any wreathy type things right now, and I really love doing those. So you've got all these dies that cut out the wreaths, and then this looks like a poinsettia. Um, I think this is a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> Here's some pears, some flowers, some greenery, this little love heart. Um, I don't know what these are, eggs? No, I don't know, but we'll figure it out together, right? <laughs> This is one of my favorites, best plaid builder dies. Check this out. You die cut this, you die cut that, you smack them together and you make some really cool designs. I think we're gonna love these. Especially, I'm looking at this like, this is gonna be great for masculine cards, right? Yeah, okay, that's all my new dies. At least I think it's all my new dies. I didn't put anything away yet so that I could show it to you guys. So I'm gonna set those, hang on. Set those off to the side. We've already done the adhesive sheets. As long as we just did dies, I'm going to start bringing in the stamp sets. So I wanted to show these to you. Remember, we used the gorgeous posies last night with the gorgeous posy kit. If you guys didn't get this, oh my lord, you must. It is so beautiful. Look at how pretty it is. Yeah, whoops, hang on. Oh, where'd all my cards go? I bypassed them. Here we go. Beautiful, beautiful, whoops, that one's beautiful. This, this kid is really outstanding. I showed it to Haley in real life this morning and she was like kind of drooling a little bit. <laughs> this was one of my alternative cards that I made using the stamp set, there it is gorgeous cozy stamp set so you can do lots of things with this stamp set besides the kit right let me put these back in here it comes with instructions but the other thing i wanted to show you i forgot to show you my alternate cards so i made these two i'll probably do a video on this at some point this uses the swirly frames to do that gold on there I gold embossed it and this is gold embossed i cut this flower out and then i use some of our gilded Oh, slow down a little bit. Okay. All right. Sorry. Thanks, Lori. Thanks for letting me know that. Here's the inside. And then here's another card that I made with the gorgeous posies. And again, I use that swirly frames, gold embossed, and this is Highland Heather. And I didn't do anything to the inside on this one. Isn't that pretty? Just from the stamp set. Okay. Now we're ready to move on. So this was one of my new stamp sets. How stinking adorable is this, you guys? Val is having an issue. <laughs> um, you're one in a melon, wishing you a slice of happiness. I couldn't ask for a sweeter friend. Smile. And then look at these cute little faces for our fruit. Yeah. Where is this coming from? This is our new beginner brochure. And there are some exclusive stamp sets in here. Look at all the cute ideas. This is a perfect stamp set to use with our note cards and envelopes. And also, as long as we're here, a great place to use the new Stampin' Spots. We've got eight colors that make up a perfect little palette to stamp with the stamp set. These are fabulous for travel too. And if you don't have these colors already, you can use these instead of getting big pads if space is an issue for you, right? So that's pretty cool. But this is called Cute Fruit. And of course, it's look at the little mustache guy. Like, <laughs> I can't wait to use this. But that's where you're going to find it. And let's see, what else is in this brochure? I think I'll post this. So we've got the cute little zany zebras. Those are super sweet and some ideas here. And then it gives you some ideas on what to order to make cards with this. So it's telling you you're going to need a D-block, Whisper White cardstock, a black memento ink pad, some watercolor pencils would go nice with it, some dimensionals, and the stamp set, all for $59.75. So if you have a hard time deciding what to order, um, this is a great place or great reference. Haley told me she loved this stamp set, so I did order it. I can't wait to see what she makes with it. <laughs> and then we have the Simply Citrus kit. And this is so adorable. 
all kinds of little embellishments in there. We've got some Baker's twine lined envelopes, um, a super cute, uh, do I have that one? I do. As long as we're there, you guys, let's open it up and see what's going on. Oh, here it is. Yeah, here's our cute little stamp set. Thank you for being you. Hello, sunshine. Just a note and way to go with some citrusy fruits. Where can my scissors go? Right here. Should we crack this open? I think we should crack this open so we can see all the prettiness. Is that a word? Prettiness? I'm not, I don't think it is. But it'll work, right? Hey, okay, here we go. What is this? Oh, we got mini glue dots in here. A whole sheet of dimensionals. It even comes with a block. Now this is the perfect kind of kit, block and stamp set for beginner stampers or to give as a gift, you guys. I love these all-inclusive ones. The only thing your intended um, gift receiver needs or your friend or family member, whatever, is some adhesive. And I recommend a bottle of liquid glue. It's gonna be your best friend here. But look at how cute these flowers are. And I love the baker's twine. And we have ah, lined envelopes. Look at how cute they are. All citrusy. I think I'm getting some shadowing. Do I need more light in here? Is that better, you guys? I think it is. Okay. And here's our card bases. And these are all scored for you. Look at how pretty that is. And here's another one, another one. Here's our dies. Now these are all die cut and you can stamp your sentiments on them and add them to your card fronts. Let me see if I, there's one more page back here. You get three pages of them. There we go, three pages of them. And of course there's directions in here. Here's some more card bases. Here's some more die cuts. Look at how pretty these are. Again, three pages of these. These are banners, more card bases. I love this kit. Like, I can't wait. This is gonna be really fun. So that is the Simply Citrus kit. Oh, and here's the, I'm like, where are the instructions? They're right here. Don't miss that. This isn't just a picture. It's your instructions. Yeah, okay, so Trudy's saying it's blurry when I move fast. Yep, that's kind of what I was thinking too, Trudy. I'll try to not do that. But here it tells you everything on how to make these. Aren't they pretty? And there's your little ink spot. You get a Night and Navy ink spot in here and that's what they've used on here for the sentiments. And then of course you can use the stamp set for anything you want right there we go simply citrus 32 dollars includes your ink and your stamp set amazing amazing product okay we have another kit here i don't know what this is oh this is the boho you guys let me set this aside this is the medley so let's find that in here because it's really pretty boho boho mm -hmm. hang on i don't know what page it's on yet page nine. <laughs> Ooh, that's a long ways in the catalog this is the boho indigo this is another amazing kit this one actually comes with dyes this is called the medley so you get this beautiful stamp set let me get some more light in over here. I'm feeling like it's kind of shadow, shadowy here too. Beautiful, beautiful stamp set. And oh my goodness, look at the ribbon. <gasps> shimmery gold, look at that. Mm. It's like puckery, shimmery gold. And then, oh my goodness, we need to open this. because It is beautiful. Look at how gorgeous that is. Oh, I love it. Let's open this up and see it too. I'm not going to do this with everything, you guys, because I'm sure you have other things you need to do today. <laughs> so I'm not going to take up hours and hours of your time. 
Oh, hang on. I have such a hard time sometimes getting these out. I like to push them up like this. And then you have to be careful so you don't stab yourself. But you need to get your... Huh. Get your scissors <laughs> underneath that little thing. Sometimes that can be tricky, right? Look at how pretty this ribbon is. You know what I think would be beautiful? If you stacked this on top of the blue. Oh, so gorgeous. It's the little things in life that make me really happy. <laughs> this is one of them. Let's look at our dyes. So this is how dyes come in a package. They come in a clear plastic envelope and then they open up just like this. Oh, look at, we've got vases. Very, very cool. Lots of vases for our flowers. We've got some greenery here. It looks like tropical leaves. This cuts out the flowers. This cuts out the other little flower. Here's our, let me hold the stamp set up so you can see both of them. A bunch of birthday love to you. Such happy news. Sorry you're feeling blue and thank you. How pretty is this? Okay, so do you want to see the paper? So what I do with my dies is I take them out of here and I put them like this. And then I put them back into my envelope so I can see my dies and then I can see the name. Boho Indigo Dies right there. Now, to get this tab in here, I stick my finger under there, push that up in there, and I close it again. This envelope, I toss or re reuse it for something else. All right, here comes. Look at these cute little flowers, you guys. I am excited about these. Hang on, I want to see what they're made out of. Oh my goodness, you know, like, um, like thick interfacing, that's kind of the texture of these. And then they have a little bead in the middle of them. Isn't that just the sweetest? Now these are bigger flowers and these are itty bitty flowers. Look at how cute those are. So we've got the bigger ones and the little ones. Now I wanted to let you guys know, if anybody's come in here that wasn't on from the beginning, I am just showing you new product today. I've got some swap cards to share with you and I'm going to be opening my happy mail that I received while I was gone. So I just wanna let you know, I'm not stamping today. I'm just showing you some cool stuff. Cause I got all this stuff in my order from the new catalog. Oh my goodness, look at that. That's beautiful. Haley, you're gonna love this. And this is a different design. Look how pretty that is. Wow. Look at how pretty that is. Wow. Oh my gosh. Here's the back side. This is very, very pretty. Here's another design. Is that a different one? Nope, that's the same. These are really, really pretty. And you know what else would go really good with this is our blue jean ribbon. You know that ribbon that looks like blue jeans? That would match with this too. Look at the dies you get in here. These are all die cut pieces, you guys, and they're gold foil. Here's some more. Look at these. These also have gold foil on them. This is absolutely gorgeous. Whoop, here's some more. Again, die cut. This comes with a lot of stuff. Look at how many cards you can make out of this. This is so incredibly beautiful. What do you guys think of this? April said her order comes today. Yay, April. I'm excited for you because it's just like Christmas, right? Okay, hang on, put this all back together. Here's what I don't want to do. I don't want to end this and have a great big, huge, colossal mess in my office with all these new products. So while I did open stuff up ahead of time, so I wouldn't take so much of your time, I am going to be putting this stuff back in its place because otherwise when I get done, I'm going to be like, Ugh. right? So this morning I went on my bike ride 
over to the lake. I ride up the lake and then um, go to a nature preserve. And I saw three deer this morning. I got snarled at by geese and the geese had babies. So I'm, you know, I'm not surprised they snarled at me, nor am I like, oh, you shouldn't snarl at me, but geese are not my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't like geese so when I was a kid we lived out in the country and when the geese were in the yard we had geese and when the geese were in the yard they would when I came out the back door they would chase me and geese are very very mean and they would chase me and hiss at me and try to bite me and I would have to run down this long drive or long sidewalk and jump on the back of our pickup truck so that they could not like bite my legs. I'm not even kidding. So I have a little bit of trauma from that. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm fine. <laughs> but so I saw geese and baby geese and um, the baby geese were cute, but the big geese not so much. Cause like I said, I don't really like big geese. And three deer and then there were some ducks in the water that scooted away when I came close to them with baby ducks. And those were mallards because we used to have mallards too. So, oh, I didn't do this right. Um, hang on. See, these are the problems we run into, right? I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna set this here. I'm sure that it's really supposed to go back in there the right way, but oh my Lord. So I'm not opening any more boxes. No, I'm just kidding. You know, it's always hard to get it back in the box, right? Yeah. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to have to turn on my fan because guess what? Yep, having a hot flash. Hang on. Whew. There we go. I got my little fan. Helps me out. Okay. Boho Indigo beautiful i absolutely love this and you get so much stuff in here and of course it's on the bottom of page nine you can read exactly what comes with it but um 48 sheets of designer series paper you get six, six sheets of die cuts 40 paper flowers um dry emboss six sheets of vanilla dry emboss plus the stamp set the dies the ribbon yeah pretty cool love it I might do something with that as a kit. We'll see. Okay, so that was my Boho Indigo kit. What else do I have? I have new blends. I'm pretty excited about them. There's one more new color. Oh, it's an in color. I don't know what I did with it. So we've got the um, Misty Moonlight. That's this one. We've got the Magenta Madness, which is this one. We've got the cinnamon cider, this one. Oh, the bumblebee one. I think I put it in a bin for swaps. And then I totally missed ordering. Oh no, it's the Just Jade. Bumblebee didn't come in one. Just Jade, I used those already. I totally missed ordering the Just Jade ink pad. So I'm gonna have to put another order in here this week because I messed up. But beautiful new blends. Oh. And there's one more set of blends called Melon Mambo. We got a new set of blends in that color. I forgot to order those also. So there you have it. Okay, let's look at some of these new embellishments. This is the Whale of a Time sequence. And I'm gonna bring that Whale of a Time suite in here. It's on page 94. Yeah, Jean just said no bumblebee, just Jade. Yeah, I kind of forgot about that. Oh, we'll be talking about my million dollar link also. So yeah, it's exciting. Here is the whale of a time. Look at how beautiful this is. Like, oh my goodness, absolutely gorgeous. So let me get the stamp set out as long as we're on this, if I can find it. I don't know what it's, here it is. I had good luck with that. Here we go. This is the stamp set. And didn't I have dies? What did I do with the dies? Aren't there whale dies? Oh no, there's a whale punch. Sorry, here we go. Here's our whale punch. Here's our whale done. 
hoping all your birthday fishes come true. You're kind of a big deal. Thanks a ton. Well done. And my love for you is bigger than the ocean. <laughs> Isn't that cute? So these are the sequins. This is going to make some amazing shaker cards or just embellishments, really. Look at, look at that little thing. Let me see if I can show it to you. It's a little shell and it's all iridescent -y. Look at how pretty these are. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Did you see me almost flip it? Yeah, I've been there, done that. Very, very pretty. So these are the whale of a time sequins. Back in here. Hang on. And get these off of here again. These are the artistry blooms and he said back sequins. You're going to get this with the online class when you order the entire bundle for my Artistry Blooms online class. So let's get these open. And I want to see them because I think they're going to be really pretty. Ooh, and I was right. Look at how pretty they are. Where's a piece of white cardstock? How about I'll bring this little box up here? Look at how pretty these are, you guys. Yeah. Now I had somebody make a comment, leave a comment on um, my blog that said something about the dreary and dull colors that Stampin' Up! has, which didn't make me very happy, I might add. But who thinks that these colors I'm showing you are dreary and dull? Like I can't even, right? So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. These are self-adhesive, my favorite kind of sequins, right? Because it makes life so much easier. Yeah. And let me get these back in here. There we go. Because remember, I'm not going to end up with a big pile of everything all over my desk when I'm done. <laughs> that never goes well. I had to, When I got up this morning, I had to clean up my desk from Facebook Live last night. And it's like, ugh, right? I should just clean it up before I go to bed. This is the butterfly gems. <laughs> Sue says she loves the giggles in the background. She's got the hiccups, actually. Val has the hiccups. Yeah, Cindy said they're beautiful colors. I completely agree with you, Cindy. I like, I don't understand where that was coming from, but whatever. Everybody has their deal, right? Look at how pretty these are. These are the new, what did I call them? In colors. Nope. Butterfly gems. Yeah, these aren't in colors. Never mind but they're certainly pretty, right? These are all self-adhesive also. And I'll let you guys look at that while I do this. This is kind of monotonous and I hate to hold you up, but remember I had a rule. <laughs> By the end, I will not probably stick to the rule. <laughs> okay, Ooh, these are really interesting. Playing with patterns, resin dots. So let's take a look at that. I wanted to, I haven't actually seen it. Oh, these are cool. They're very flat. So they're low profile, pretty colors. And again, self-adhesive. So I'm excited about that. Don't you think everything should be self-adhesive? Like we're, I'm, I'm lazy. Like if it's self-adhesive, I don't even care. I will pay more for it. You know, you could probably get a whole container of these, like hundreds of them for the same price you're gonna pay for this, but it's self-adhesive, so it's totally worth it, right? Yeah, Terry said the same thing. She loves self-adhesive stuff. Darcy says she has a hard time with the sequins because they stick to her mostly, and <laughs> I totally get that. Do you have a take your pick tool, Darcy? Because this has literally changed my life. This will pick up your sequins so nicely with that, putty end. There you go. Now you can, I like to take my liquid glue and put a dot of glue or use a toothpick and put a glot of dot of glue on my card. And then I put it here, use your fingernail to push it down. Get yourself to take your pick tool, but they do stick to you, especially in the winter time. And especially in Wisconsin or the Midwest where we have lots of static cling. Okay. Next mini paper pumpkin boxes, you guys. So my artistry blooms, no, my kit class uh, using the nothing's better than is going to include two of these boxes. 
where you're going to um, get a design to do something with them. It's going to be super, super cute. But these are called mini paper pumpkin boxes. They fold up very nicely. Let me show you what they look like here. They come like this. They go together. You guys want me to, sh I can show you one. Here we go. So one side is shiny. You can make that the inside or the outside. It's completely up to you. One side is dull, so you can um, put ink on it. You can do whatever you want. You can cover it with paper, but you just fold on all the score lines, just like this. Here we go. Oh, and by the way, before I forget, if you guys can share this video for me, that's awesome. It really helps me grow my business. Here's my new host code for um, that I just put up on my blog. I didn't have it ready last night. So I wanted to make sure you saw that that's there. Okay, here we go. Ready? Um, you push these two together right here. I'm gonna try to do this so I'm not blocking your view. This goes up like this. There's little slots. See how it clipped right in there? Little slots that those fit in right there. Same thing with the other side over here. Pull those tabs in just like this. Boom. Here is our little mini paper pumpkin box. This is going to be great for little gift ideas, for little candies, for little treats. Love it. Yeah. So you get a pack of 10 of them. And I don't remember, does anybody know how much they are? I'm going to look right now. Mini? <laughs> nope. How about boxes? Yep. Page 152. Did somebody tell us yet? There we go. 152. Here they are. $7.50. Not even kidding. 10 of these. $7.50. This is a great deal. And these are so cute. And the thing I like about the dull side is it's perfect. Your glue, your tape runners, everything is going to stick to this nicely because it's not got a coating on it. It's just a very flat white. Now, if you want it to be shiny, you just hold it the outside because this is very shiny and it does have a coat on it, like a protective coating or some type of a finish. But yeah, these are super cool, right? I always like to see this kind of stuff in person because you never know. It's very good quality. Now we have the square vellum doilies. Oh, and Carrie says she wished she would have added them. Yeah, next time, Carrie. They're very, very cool. What are the measurements of the boxes? Oh, what are the measurements of the boxes? Good question. So they are five and seven eighths by three and three quarters by one. So let me grab this. So we've got five and seven eighths, no, three and three quarters by five and seven eighths by one. Good question. Thank you. And they're food safe, you guys. Yeah, I'll show that one. Haley's working with this box right now. Oh, is it done? No. Oh, I'm not going to open it for you because it's kind of a thing I'm doing for my team meeting. <laughs> um, this is a little pizza box and these are really cool too. Now these are right here, mini pizza boxes. These are three and a half by three and a half by one and they're also food safe. We have this in the white or you can see we've got it in the gold foil, which is spectacular. Ooh. I have some Haley. So yeah, she just went, oh, Haley loves all things gold. Not going to lie. Okay, here's your little box. Oh, here's our doilies. Let me grab, I'm going to grab a piece of colored paper here. A regular card fit in the mini paper pumpkin box. Um, it's three and three quarters wide, you guys. Okay. So our, our cards are four and a quarter, but our note cards and envelopes would fit in here. So this is three and three quarters and a regular card is four and a quarter wide. And I can't even find one right at the moment. <laughs> How does that even happen, people? Oh my goodness. Let me grab one of these. <laughs> it's just a little bit too small, but you could certainly make cards that are only three and three quarters by, what was this, five and something? 
five and a half. That's a that's a fine card, but you won't have envelopes. So that was a dumb idea. <laughs> no cards and envelopes will fit in here. Isn't this pretty? Yeah. Okay. So back to this. These are doilies. These are called square vellum doilies. Now let me see. Here they are. You get 24 of them for five dollars. And these are really pretty. And they're vellum. So very cool. Hang on while I put this back in here. What are you guys drinking today? And is it hot where you are? It's supposed to be. Oh my God, look at Val. <laughs> Bring her over here. She looks hysterical. Don't trip. Okay, you guys, I'm going to flip you back so you can see this child. She looks hysterical. Don't trip on the things. Look at her. She's like, she's like stoned. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't resist. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, she was supposed to be due on weed day. So there's that. <laughs> okay. So back to what we were doing here. Squirrel. Okay. Next. Foam adhesive sheets. So these are going to be really cool. And I'm super excited to see these. And some of you might be wondering what they are. I'll probably do a tip video on these coming up shortly, but these are like sheets of dimensionals, sheets of dimensionals. Like, is that making you warm right now? Because <laughs> I'm pretty excited about them. Let me see if I can find them in our catalog. I don't even know where they are. Does anybody know where they are? Um, oh, probably back by the dimensionals and stuff. Yeah. So you can use these in your die cutting machines. Here we go. Look at what they did with them. They cut out puffy letters. So. You can use the die to cut out a puppy letter. Then you can cut out some designer series paper and glue it onto the adhesive sheets. Um, what are these called? <laughs> Foam adhesive sheets and do some really cool things. See that? Yeah, these are, these are gonna be awesome. So you wanna make sure that you add these to your next order. You're gonna want some. Not kidding about that either. <laughs> like you will want some. I can't wait to use these. I have a lot of ideas coming up for my Wednesday tip videos. I will be starting those back up again, you guys, just so you know that. When I was doing daily Facebook lives, it was just a lot to keep up with. But I am going to start start doing those again. So don't worry. Okay. These are three and an eighth by three and an eighth inch acetate card boxes. And somebody must have just asked where you can buy something. Are they thicker than a dimensional? Well, let's, that's a great question. Haley, did you see who? Someone asked where do I go to buy this stuff? Yeah, you go to my store. You go head over to my blog right here, stampofabove.com. You're going to find an online ordering button in the right-hand column. If your order is under $150, use this host code. If it's over $150, don't use the code. You're going to get some rewards from Stampin' Up. You get rewards every time you go over, um, when you go over $150. So you'll be able to use those yourself. So let's grab some dimensionals. Here's a sheet of dimensionals. Here's a sheet of the foam. We're going to take a good look at this. I'd say they're just a teeny weeny bit wider than dimensionals. Okay, just a tiny, tiny little bit. So that was a really good question. Thank you for asking that. But um, I don't think they're gonna cause any problems because you know, just like dimensionals or some of the embellishments we have, I think they're gonna be just fine. I haven't used them yet. I might not ever use them if I can't get them back in the bag. Here we go. No, I'll use them, don't worry. Okay, now we have three and an eighth by three and an eighth. Can you adhere the DSP sheets before die cutting the letters? Yes, Cindy, and that is a really great idea. So take the sheet, put the paper on the front of it, and then die cut. You're gonna do everything in one. That's that's very smart, by the way. And I know you're very smart, right? Because you're on my team. <laughs> Here's our little box. Look at how cute this is. These are all die cut and scored for us. Cute little box. What? Oh, I have to move slower. Sorry. I know. I'm just a fasty person, aren't I? Mm -hmm. I need to slow down sometimes. I talk fast. I don't eat fast, though. I eat really slow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> In case you wanted to know that. 
here's our little box. And isn't this going to be cute? I wonder, I'm going to grab one of these because I'm getting just a little hungry. Here at Ellie's, right? I bet we could fit quite a few of these in here. Oops, let's get that glare out of there. Yeah, we sure could. We could fit several in there, but that's about how big this box is. So it's three and an eighth by three and an eighth. I'm gonna do some really cute stuff with this too. And I'm gonna eat that because I'm hungry. Thanks Mary Olson for turning me on to the dark chocolate sea salt Ghirardelli's. Love them. There's our little box. You get, let's see, 10 of these. Look, I turned right to the page. Um, 10 of those for $6, 10 boxes for six bucks. So that's another really good deal, you guys. Next, water painters. So, you know, we had aqua painters. These are new and they come in a pack. You get three different sizes. And let's see if I can find them. Water painters. You guys know there's an index on the back of your catalog, right? So here we go, water painters, page 147. Let's get the deets on these. Huh. Um, water painters right here. So the water painters hold liquid for easy water coloring. You get three of them, a fine tip, a medium tip, and a large tip. You can use them with the fluid 100 watercolor paper on page 153, shimmery white cardstock classic ink or watercolor pencils. So, oh my goodness, look how big that is. I haven't opened these yet, you guys. That is huge. This is for like doing watercolor backgrounds. Holy cow, I had no idea. I'm gonna set that down. Here's what would have been our large aqua painter, right? You wanna be careful when you're putting your lids back on. So when I'm doing classes with customers, I will usually take the lids off my aqua painters and keep them in my apron pocket because people will be talking. They don't maliciously do things to your stuff, right? But they'll be talking to somebody putting the lid on and they'll squash this down. So you want to be careful. If you're a demonstrator, you want to not have the lids with your aqua painters when you're having a stamping event because that way nothing will happen, right? It's just water. It doesn't dry out. But just a little tip there for you so that you don't get the ends of your aqua painters ruined. And the other thing I wanna tell you is make sure you tell your customers that they are never allowed to alter the brush tip of your water, what are these called? Water something, water painters. Um, I had some people uh, a couple different times where they took their scissors to my aqua painter. And like, I don't know in what universe they thought that was okay to do without consulting me, but I'm still a little salty about it. <laughs> So I'm glad I have these new ones. I like these. I like that big one. That's going to be cool. So again, you'll probably see a tip video coming out from me soon. All three of these $12. That is a crazy, amazing deal. Put those on your order too. Okay. Oh, this is really cute. These are new embellishments. And I love that we still have our dog and our cat punches, right? The dog. Okay the cat because these playful pet trinkets. Okay, let me, I, gotta, I gotta dump them out so you can see them. We've got little bones and little hearts in here. And you can tie these onto a piece of baker's twine or linen thread. Oh, I know, I gotta show you this too. This is the playful pets trim combo pack. Can you see that black and white striped? Um, baker swine and then some really thin striped red ribbon. Isn't that cute? This is part of a suite. But yeah, I thought these were really adorable. Did I put them back? Yeah, I put them back right. Okay, where did my little bag go? Does anybody see it? Nope. Oh, here it is. I got it. But anyways, I thought these would be cute to make with the punches, right? But we have designer series paper and a whole stamp set that these go with also. So don't worry. There are galleries who say never to get the day that someone turned your aqua painter in class. That was years ago and I still remember. <laughs> I'm still salty about it, Kathy. That makes me laugh so hard. 
I'm never mean to people, right? I'm never mean to people, but boy, you know, I'm not the person that sits back and just holds my tongue and complains about stuff. Like I will tell you, I'm, I'm not going to be like nasty because everybody makes a mistake, but like, seriously, who thinks that's a good idea to cut somebody else's product up <laughs> without saying, Hey, Kelly, do you think we should trim this? And I would have been like, no, you shouldn't trim it. Anyways, thanks, Kathy, for that walk down memory lane. <laughs> okay, what are these? Cling adhesive. Oh, you guys, I'll do a video on this too. So the cling adhesive is going to be great for the um, old stamps that don't stick to the blocks very well, right? I know sometimes people have been keeping their adhesive backing the negative part and using that. I did a whole video on how to do that, but that's what these are. They're little strips. You can cut them, put them on the front of your label so that they will stick to your blocks. And again, I'll be doing a video on this. And um, let's see, this is probably on page 162. Let me go there and find the details for you. I know this looks pretty boring, but it's kind of important. Uh, adhesive, uh, cling adhesive, $8. You get 168 strips that are three quarters by one and three quarters. And this is how you easily convert your clear mount stamps to cling. I'm glad I have these because I still have some stamp sets that don't stick to my blocks. So I, then I didn't put the labels on them. I hated putting the labels on them, but now I can do that. That'll be a job for Haley. Yay. That oh, sounds fun. Yeah. She's really excited about it. <laughs> and I say that with a lot of sarcasm. Okay. <laughs> we have two new adhesives. Yay. We've got stamp and seal. This is like a really nice big um, tape runner. I've been using it. I want to test it out and make sure that my cards don't fall apart because especially here in Wisconsin where it can get very humid. Um, that can be a problem with tape runners. So this seems to be super sticky so far. We've got regular stamp and seal, and then we have the um, stamp and seal plus. So I'll probably do a video on this also, but I'm going to tell you the difference between the two. The stamp and seal is the very light blue one. It's an instant bond permanent adhesive and holds cardstock and ribbon. It's acid free. You get 16.4 yards and it's $8 for the whole thing and then only $5.50 for your refills. Then we have Stamp and Seal Plus. This is also an instant bond permanent adhesive. Strong seal adheres to 3D projects and heavier layers securely, like for boxes and stuff. This is going to be like Fast Fuse. Remember when we had Fast Fuse? Again, you get 16.4 yards. It is acid free. So that means it's safe for your scrapbooking. And it is $12 for the whole thing. And then you can get refills for eight bucks once you run out of this. So two brand new products. And like I said, I'm testing these out so I can give you an informed decision on what I think of them. So I'm- Someone, someone asked, can you use that for wooden stamps? The adhesive? Uh, why would you want to put the sticky adhesive on a wooden stamp? Because a wood does, a, to, you mean to, to stick your rubber to the bottom of the wood? Is that what you mean? Because if that's what you're talking about, I think that would work. I don't know why it wouldn't, but I don't know for sure because I haven't tried doing that, but I think it would be worth a try. Um, <laughs> Amy says, don't worry, Haley, grandma will hold Val while you apply cling adhesive to her stamp sets. <laughs> Thanks, Amy. <laughs> yes, I will. <laughs> you know me so well. Okay, what else do we have? The fun stuff. Yeah, I get to do all the fun stuff. Um, designer paper. This is the playing with patterns designer series paper. So let's, this is one of our suites. And um, hang on, playing with patterns on page 100. Here we go, it starts. Look at how pretty it is. This has all those little letters in it. We're also probably gonna do an online class with this. I think Dina Barb and I have this um, in our, in our to-do list. But I love, love, love these. Look, this is a mini paper pumpkin box. Look how cute that is. And then the designer paper, that's what I got out so I can show you. Take a look, see. 
Look at how pretty this is. I wish I had my DSP sampler done with this, but I don't yet. Just so pretty, so colorful. The patterns are on trend. You're gonna be seeing these in home decor and clothing. That's what Stampin' Up! follows. They follow fashion trends to decide which designer series papers they're going to make or order. Um, a lot of times our concept artists are actually designing our designer series paper. So it's exclusive to our company. And of course, you know, we always are very trendy with color and patterns. So this is playing with patterns six by six. Then this is our whale of a time. Remember this goes with the whale. Oh my gosh, look at the cute fish, you guys. Like that is so adorable. Bev says it's in the 90s in San Diego and it's gonna be a hot summer. It's supposed to be in the 90s here today too. And I am excited about all of that. <laughs> I love me some hot weather. Oh, I gotta take this out. <laughs> I can't avoid it. Look at how cute that is. Oh my goodness. So you get four sheets of each. Here's the next one. Look at the whales. Oh my Lord. This is so pretty. Here's another one. <gasps> turtles. Oh, they're upside down. Turtles. That's really cute. Here we have some more under the sea stuff. Now you could cut this in half and use this part and then this part. Make two cards. Isn't that cool? Oh, look at the whales. Beautiful. Here's another one. We got some more sea life. We got some crabs on there. <laughs> Cheryl says, gosh, I love all your stuff. I do too, Cheryl. I can't wait to share this stuff with you in projects. <gasps> Look at the turtles. They're so pretty. Now, who thinks that Stampin' Up! is using dull colors? Because I certainly don't. I'm not quite sure mm -hmm. what that was about. Maybe Thank somebody you. was just having a bad day. Thank you. See, they're all very bright. Yeah, they're very pretty. I love seahorses. Did you guys ever have sea monkeys when you were a kid? Like I tried to have sea monkeys. They never really grew very good though. I think it was just a scam. Haley's going, what? Sea monkeys? What's that? It was this little packet you got and you put it in a little aquarium, little dish thing. And there were like, they're sea monkeys. And they're these little organisms that I don't know, but they were a whole thing. And they didn't live long, I don't think. They never grew up to be adult sea monkeys, which is what I was counting on. <laughs> Look at Holly had some. There you go. Holly knows what a sea monkey is. <laughs> Look it up online. Okay, so back to our paper. Got off on a tangent there. Oh my goodness, how pretty, right? Love it. Oh, that's beautiful. Haley, look at this one. I love that one. Oh my gosh. That's so pretty. Okay, here we go. <gasps> Seaweed everywhere. Gorgeous. <laughs> Bev had sea monkeys. Amy says her sea monkeys always died. Mine did too. Holly says they were tiny shrimp. That's what they were. Oh, remember my shrimp? Yeah, we had shrimp. We used to go fishing in North Dakota every year and that lake is full of, what do they call it? Freshwater shrimp. Freshwater shrimp. Like, full of it, crazy. We were, I had an underwater camera and I would watch them and we, the shrimps were busy. Like there was a lot of shrimp baby making going on underwater. So we called it shrimp porn. And we had a good time with that. <laughs> I know we're a little, we're a little sick, but it's okay. It's all in good fun. <laughs> you gotta be a little twisted, right? And Benita says she shouldn't be watching. She keeps seeing more things she want, wants. I understand, but you got to see all the things, right? Now, we have four different colors of our designer series paper, four different color families. We have the brights, the regals, the subtles, and the brights, the regals, the subtles, and the neutrals. And these are the brights. And look at how pretty these are. So you get two different patterns in each color. So this is gorgeous gray. This is, I don't know, some green color. I don't know what color it is. Maybe, I don't know. 
<laughs> it's a bright. I'm not sure what it is. Um, Bermuda Bay. There you go. Flirty flamingo. Look how pretty these are. Look at that wood grain. You got wood grain and little words on one side. And then like this jean looking type textile pattern and dots on the other side. We got Poppy Parade. We've got, uh, what is this? Uh, Mango Melody, Melon Mambo, Daffodil Delight, Granny Apple Green, Pacific Point, and Coastal Cabana. Yeah, very, very pretty. So all these patterns come in four different color families. These are 1150, you guys, and you get 40 sheets. It's a pretty good deal. But I love it because it color coordinates with all of our designer series papers and our embellishments and all the things, right? That's why it's so fun. Okay, next, I am going to open up this Cutie Patootie Playful Pets designer series paper. And that's what those little dog bones and heart things go with um, that I got the dog and cat punch out for. Here we go. Look at how cute this is. Like just a just a neutral pattern on one side. And then we have these adorable little dogs. Haley, is somebody out by the pool? Yeah, Anna and the girls. Oh, Anna and the girls are here. We're gonna have to wrap this up. <laughs> Here's some more cute puppies. And again, we've got hearts and dog prints. Isn't that sweet? Now, this is the kind of paper you want to buy a set of this. And then use your dog and cat punch, or you can buy the whole suite, but I mean, you can use your dog and cat punch to make people who get a new pet or oh, the hard one, which is all about the sympathy, right? Mm. Look at that paper. That's fun. Here's our cats. Cheryl said she had sea monkeys too. It was a whole thing back in the 70s. Oops, uh-oh. Hang on. I got to see what's going on with my Zoom. No, it seems to be okay. You better get back on there. And there she comes. Okay. Haley just got back on Zoom. I have to have three people on Zoom for the spotlighting thing to work. Okay. So look at that. Those are fun, right? For the backside of the cat. Look at how funny these cats are. This one like looks like it's freaking right out. Super cute. Here's some dog bowls and bones woof dig chase scratch wag play love bark that's what it says woof dig chase scratch wag play love bark and don't forget to snip the crotches oh did i just say that <laughs> we had a lab here over the weekend and she would come up behind you and stick her nose right in your butt <laughs> yep. it was so gross but it was pretty funny and it, you did a little whoop <laughs> yeah, and here's some more paper. Um, this says yawn, paw, jump, love, meow, purr, snooze. Cute. And this is kitty, kitty toys on here. So there's the playful somethings. Hang on, I got stuff sticking all over. Playful pets designer series paper. I thought I had this because, oh man. Don't stick the sticky part to your catalog, people. <laughs> you gotta use some care. <laughs> that was really dumb. No, oh, the things we do, right? We're almost done. I'm not gonna keep you much longer. I'm gonna have to do happy mail some other time. I am gonna show you my swap cards though, because they're beautiful and I know that. I know that everybody is excited. Well, they're excited to see my happy mail too, because it's gorgeous too, but we're running out of time. Okay, I opened this up already. This is the Peony Garden. And the Peony Garden is on page 82. Oh, I hear kids having fun outside. Makes my heart happy. Here's the Peony Garden Suite, okay. Here is the beautiful paper. <gasps> love, love, love the patterns. The color palette is incredible. Oh, here, let me do that. Here's the back of this paper. Oh my goodness, look how pretty that is. The back of this paper.
Yeah. The back of this paper. The back of this paper. Oh my goodness, look how pretty that is. Oh, Haley, you're gonna love this too. Oh yeah. Oh, look at this. This is like pencil drawing. You guys, you can color these any color you want. You can use a brayer on them or you can leave them gray. <gasps> look at the marble. Mm, look at this tail. Ooh. Ooh, I know she's got like a million things running through her head. Just like her mama. Okay, so again, this is the Peony Garden Designer Series paper. Absolutely delicious. Okay. This is Artistry Blooms. Now remember, Artistry Blooms is my June online class. It starts on page 130. It's this one. What? Look at how pretty this is. Okay, so here's this side. Look at how pretty that is. Oh my goodness. And this side, do the next one. Oh, I have to pull this out of here, you guys. Who am I kidding? <laughs> I was trying to make it easier because it's hard to get back in there. Look at how pretty that is. This is the one you love, Haley. Mm -hmm. Look at how gorgeous. Oh my goodness. This is this is the front. This is the back. I love the um, ombre effect on the colors here. Here's another one. Again, dull? I think not. <laughs> I don't quite understand that. Oh my gosh, this is the most color we've had in a very long time. Oh, look how pretty that is. This reminds me of like ice cream from the ice cream man. We have that man lurking in our neighborhood. <laughs> the kids are always running for the ice cream truck. Look how pretty these, these are very vibrant and gorgeous. Yeah, this is really pretty too. This is this screams boy card to me. Like I wish we had like a skateboarder because that would be cool. This reminds me of just like really fast something going on. Mm. Look at that gorgeousness. Okay, so that's the end. And again, this was called the Artistry Blooms right here on page one thirty one. This is going to be our online class for the month of June. So watch for that information coming soon. I have it on my list to do the marketing for that so I can get the buttons so you can order it. But yeah, okay, so beautiful. Then something you might overlook in the catalog is the color velveteen paper pack. And you guys know when you go to my online store, you can just type in the names of this stuff in a search and it'll pop up. So you just type in Velveteen, this is gonna pop up. Here is the Velveteen and it comes in three colors. It comes in our new cinnamon, whatever that's called. What is that called? Cinnamon cider. Yeah. It comes in a purple and then like soft sea foam. And this is Velveteen, like it's, it's like velvet. It's very, very cool. So there you go. I wanted to make sure you didn't miss that. Now this comes in between two pieces of cardboard to keep it protected during shipping. I like that Stampin' Up takes the time to do that, right? And it's expensive to do that. Okay, here we go. Don't forget if you would like to do um, paper pumpkin, you have until June 10th to get your box of sunshine in the mail during the month of June. Now, if you wait till after June 10th, you're not going to get this one. Well, actually, I think you can. But most of our kits, you can't. So I'm not really sure. So just get it by June 10th. And again, when you go to my online store, you'll find the button here. Use the host code. You can buy a prepaid subscription. And you just go to the store and type in paper pumpkin or over on the left hand side, you can click on paper pumpkin. All right. Are we ready to see? Oh, there's more designer paper, but oh my God, I think there was a bug on me. Maybe it was a piece of chocolate. <laughs> I'm not sure. I think it was a bug. 
I just flicked it off my leg. Hang on. Yeah, okay, I'm fine. Don't worry. <laughs> it's summertime. There's bugs. This is the flowers for every season designer series paper, you guys. It is so, so pretty. Then we have the World of Good specialty designer series paper. This has gold foil accents in it, or brass, I should say. Beautiful. In good taste. This is also gorgeous. This is all kinds of different textures. And that's all I have put together so far. But you can order these from me now. I am actually selling these. And what you get is you get the sheets with all the information printed on them. And then you get, you're gonna get some packs of the designer paper with the one inch circles punched out. And I think all of your packs are gonna have the paper in here cut four by two. So you're gonna to have to cut it in half. You're gonna flip one over. This is one side, this is the other. So you're gonna have two pieces that you can put on here. Some of these have more patterns in them, like this one. Okay, so you, these are cut smaller. And I'll give, you, um, I'll give you all the details in your packs that come with your sheets. So again, you can find that over on my blog. I posted it on my Facebook page where you're at right now last night. So you can find that link. Did you have a question? That wants to know how much longer until paper comes Oh, it usually doesn't mail until after the 10th, Bev. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what is that what you're talking about? I'm not sure what that date is, but they have to get all the orders in and then they start shipping. So that's how that works. Good question. Okay. Wait, are the DSP sheets portrait or landscape? I'm not sure yet. I don't remember. They're on my computer. So I have one. I have one here that is portrait. The rest of these are landscape, and it's just the way that they kind of went on here better. It doesn't well, make. There's so many more patterns to that kind. Of yeah, this has a lot of paper in it. There's a lot more patterns here than this one. So um, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do yet, but I'm going to make sure that it is the, to the best benefit of you, right? This is kind of a neat way, but I also like this one too. So I, I don't think it really makes any difference, does it? Yeah, and it's kind of nice to mix things up once in a while. So. If you want to order those, they're $25. They include the new in color six by sixes, all the other designer series paper. I am not including the neutrals, the brights, the subtles, and the regals in this designer series paper because they're all the same. Okay. Um, they're the same as the in colors. So you're going to see the pattern. It's just they're going to be different colors, but it does include the in colors designer series paper. And all of that is listed in the details on my blog. Now, let's get to those swap cards. You're gonna love them. So, uh, let me put some of this stuff away. What else did I have here? Oh, I wanted to tell you, if you have an order that is around $100, I highly encourage you to order our discount shopper kit or our starter kit. You will get a discount on your future orders of at least 20%. And that goes up with whatever you choose to do with this. Like after a certain period of time when you've ordered so a certain level, you get a 25% discount instead of just a 20% discount. So there's never any drawbacks to doing this. You get to be part of my team. Um, you get to participate in card swaps with me. I have a team meeting every month. During the month of June, when you order this kit, you get to choose $125 with the product for only $99 and you get free shipping. Bigger than that, you get to choose a stamp set, a bundle, a stamp set and a punch or a stamp set and a set of dies, absolutely free on top of the $125. There is like, this is one of the best promotions of the year, you guys. So again, you have an order that's around $100. I highly encourage you instead of putting that order in, to order this kit, you get to choose everything in it. 
there are no strings attached. You can order in the future at a discount and you get to be part of my amazing team. And we have a lot of fun. You will absolutely love it. How many team members do I have on here right now? You guys, is it fun to be part of my team? Yes, and I will never push you to sell anything. You do what you wanna do with this. You can sell Stampin' Up or you can just simply use this as a discount opportunity and to be part of something so much bigger than sitting at home stamping by yourself. It's a really cool family to belong to. Okay. Someone wants to know, are we able to buy the template from you out of state or then in America? No, that's out of the country. And no, I will not send across international lines, but um, you can go on my YouTube channel and you can find a template from last year where I show you exactly how to make these. There's nothing to them, you guys. All you do is you type up the name of the paper, the coordinating colors, print it out on a sheet and cut. These are like one and three quarters by one and three quarters. These are two by two. That's all there is to this. These are one inch circle punches. So this is just a service I'm offering um, because I think it's good customer service, but you can certainly make these on your own if you don't want to pay me to do it. They're easy peasy lemon squeezy. So you can go to YouTube, Kelly Atchison, look for my channel, then click on videos and do a search for DSP sampler. You will find a video that tells you exactly how to do it. Okay, swaps, are we ready? Who's ready for swaps? I'm ready for swaps. Look at this gorgeousness. This is the world of goods. It was part of our pre-order and I'm gonna to try to pull these up for you. World of Good Suite, page 24. Here we go. This is the suite with these cards. Now, th these are swap cards. I host the swap. I just got all these cards in. This is made by Katherine Anderson and how gorgeous. This is that technique we did um, not too long ago. Scrappy technique, yes, yes. Absolutely gorgeous, right? <laughs> Bev says she hates to cut into your paper. Well, I'll tell you what, Bev. When you start making these sheets, this helps you cut your paper, and it's really hard to do. And I understand exactly what you're what you're talking about. But once you cut that two inch strip off the side, you're going to feel better about cutting into your paper. Don't hoard it. It's horrible. No hoarding. But how beautiful is this? And she did a little stamping on the inside. Very pretty, Katherine Anderson, love that brass paper and it coordinates so well, doesn't it? So pretty, okay, here's another one. Look how pretty this is. I love this new embossing folder. It is called the Old World Paper and that's what it looks like, right? And they rubbed a little ink on the front there. Again, with the brass, very, very pretty. This is by Christine, she's one of my team members. Gorgeous. Here we have one. This is also Jody Peterson, another one of my team members. Look how pretty this is. This is that new, oh, I didn't show you all the ribbons. This is like a suede type ribbon on here. And it's just so masculine and rich looking. Oh, Jody's on here. Yay, Jody, I love your card. Yeah, very, very pretty, right? And it uses the new cider cinnamon or whatever it's called, new in color. What is that called, Haley? Cinnamon cider, I think. Thank you for being part of mine. It says life's a beautiful journey. Thank you for being part of mine. Very cool. Here comes another one. This one is I think by Teppy. Look at how beautiful that is. And she used the copper stars on here. That looks really good with this. Yep, this is Teppy's card. And look at how this opens. She used that old world embossing folder. Yeah, isn't that cool? Very, very cool. I got Look her little, whoops, hang on. Let's just see that again. Here we go. Opens up like this. Very, very neat card. Okay, then Katherine Anderson also sent me this beautiful thank you card. And I just love this. This is all retired now, but it is so, so pretty, isn't it? I love the layout. This is, I, you know what? I might set this aside for a layout challenge. Thank you, Katherine. This was just so pretty. I think I'm going to do that. <laughs> okay. Then 
we have cards. You guys know that we only get to order, pre-order certain things with a pre-order period. So that's where the swap is coming from. Um, Forever Greenery is on page 108. Here we go. Beautiful, beautiful suite of products. And here comes card number one to a friend that makes me smile. Isn't that pretty? We have new embossing folders. We have this gorgeous forever, what is it called? Um, forever Greenery, I was right. Forever Greenery Designer Series paper. I don't know who it's made this one. Favorite with the hoops. Yeah, this is Haley's favorite with the gold hoops. And I think I have a gold hoop card here that I'll share with you. But look at this, very simple, but yet very elegant. This is Candy Michaels, she's my friend. It matches our green ribbon that's from the last catalog. So that's cool. This one is by Sarah Simon. She's one of my very talented team members and look how pretty that is. Fun fold, love it. And, oh, I don't have one that uses the hoop here but I've got some others to share with you that does use the hoop. Here's another beautiful, beautiful card. Look how pretty that is. That designer series paper is just killer, isn't it? This is by my friend, Lori Krause, love it. And then we have the flowers for every season, page 10. Am I doing okay? Am I going too fast? I don't wanna bore you guys to death. Hold it up higher, okay, thank you. Here comes, now this is the flowers for every season. There's actually two bundles in here. This is the Celebrate Sunflowers. Look how pretty that is. It's like, oh, it's just so delicious. Okay, here's card number one. How cute is this? It's not cute. It's actually very elegant and rich looking. This is by um, one of my very talented team members, Jay Shante. Very, very pretty. Now remember, if you're if you're a member of my team, you get to swap with me. So that's one of the really cool things too. This one is by one of my team members, D Esquana. This has a belly band. So check this out. She used some um, wink of Stella in the middle of this. That forever greenery paper. Oh, let me hold it the right way. Ready? What? Isn't that cool? It's like, a, this is a shutter fold. See it? Yeah, that's very cool, right? Maybe I'll show you guys how to do this. I do have a video on my YouTube channel showing how to do this, but super, super beautiful card. Whoops. Way to go, D. I'm going to get this on here so I don't lose it. Look how pretty that is. She's is. She's got, a, she's very, um, not only creative, but she's got a very artistic eye for colors and patterns, I think. Okay, here comes another one. This is by Sue Souza, also a member of my team. Look at how pretty that is. This is just, so it's the yellow in the background and then there's a die that makes this overlay. That's very um, elegant. Oh, here we go, ready? This is a fun fold. How fun is that? Like that is just so creative. Yeah, love it. Way to go, Sue. Beautiful job. Put that back here. Okay, then. We have lovely something or another. You guys know I have no idea what these are called. It's gonna take me quite a while. This is on page 22. This was part of my pre-order. This is the new punch that goes with it. This is called the Lovely Labels Pick a Punch. And remember this card I just showed you a few minutes ago? It does this on the end and you can do these and punches in three different widths, so that's cool. But this and this are a bundle. You'll find the bundle pricing right here. It's only $42.25 for the stamp set and the punch. Again, lovely you and the lovely labels pick a punch. Oh, this is not even from that. <laughs> Hang on, I do have some cards from that one. Here we go. <laughs> I just like went through that whole thing. This is from Lorraine Duran. And I thought how clean and crisp and very pretty. This is our new Bumblebee Gingham ribbon. Very cool. Bumblebee and um, Early Espresso or maybe Soft Suede she used. I think maybe it's Early Espresso. I'm not sure, but very pretty. 
uh, here comes another one. And this is by Kathy Miller. She's another one of my very talented team members. Love the colors that she put together. Another fun fold, beautiful. Yeah, and she used that new embossing folder, that texture, embossed tasteful textures, I think it's called. Very, very pretty. Okay, I don't know. Who knows what stamp set this is? Cause I can't remember. I don't know what it's called. Is it, a, it's not a suite, it's just a bundle. I don't know, but anyways, it's beautiful. Somebody can tell me, right? Who made this? Carolee Crab. Um, somebody will tell us before we're done here. Charlene is sneaking in from work. Glad you're here, Charlene. But how pretty is that, right? So she stamped the yellow part and then the, um, what color is this? Uh, I think it's cherry cobbler and the, I don't know what color that is either. Anyways, <laughs> I know it's real kind of strange. Maybe Calypso Coral. Those two are die cuts. Very pretty. Blossoms, blooms and blossoms. There you go. Thank you guys. I knew you'd help me out. I knew you'd help a girl out in a tough spot. Blooms and Blossoms is on, Blossoms in Bloom is on page 51. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Um, Val, Val just went, Wah. now she's totally asleep again. There we go, you guys. Here it is right here. Very, very pretty. Again, we've got a bundle here, so it has a set of dies, but isn't that gorgeous? Did I tell you? Yeah, Curly Crab made that. And then this one is from my friend, Dina Rico. It's funny because I actually stamped these cards, but this was her swap card <laughs> because she wasn't done with them when I got to Iowa uh, last week. So I helped her make her swap cards, but isn't that pretty? Yeah, and it just uses this little flower in here. Okay, next. This is another pre-order set that I can't remember what it's called. Who knows what this is called? I know you guys are gonna help a sister out. I'm not gonna keep looking for it because I don't know where it is, but look at this. Ah, isn't that cool? I love it. I love this image in here. Very pretty. And the flower is really cute too. And this is made by Barbara Rampmel. So very nice card. This is the new um, Magenta Madness. Very, very pretty. Did anybody ant blossoms and blooms? Blossom and bloom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, that's the one I just did. I don't know what this one is called. I can't waste time finding it. Somebody will tell me. Here's another beautiful card made by my friend Barb. And I just love the simplicity of this card. It's very clean and crisp. She uses the new embossing folder here and she added a little color to the inside of those flowers. So very, very pretty. And here comes another one. I think this one is called Tasteful Textures maybe. Very, very pretty. This is Denise Johnson. Beautiful card. We've also got some wooden embellishments here and she used that embossing folder in the background it's already three o'clock are you kidding me mm -hmm. oh my lord okay we're almost done you guys this is gorgeous this uses the same stamp set right very very pretty love this this one's made by leslie lauterbach she's one of my team members i love all the different elements she put together here we have some new ribbon on there too and i think you can see that brick and mortar background on there so cool she splattered it a little bit with some black. And these are all embossed in clear embossing powder, which is just gives it such an elegant, fun look. Here's another one. We got some new dyes here, and this uses our tropical stamp set from the last catalog. Field of flowers. That's what those are called. Field of flowers. Field of flowers. Some new dies coming in here. This card is made by Carolyn Susie. Look at how pretty that inside is. I love this. Okay. And this is the last one, you guys. Look how pretty this is. Who made this? This is by um, Jenna Lucier. I hope that's how you say your last name, Jenna. Jenna is so talented at doing kind of these types of cards. I love the way she put everything together. There's that gingham ribbon again. 
Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Gorgeous. Okay, I think that's it. I hear some kids outside by the swimming pool that need to see their granny. Oh yeah. All right. So hang on. I'm going to go back to me now. There's me. Yay. You guys are familiar with my chain. Hello. <laughs> okay. I did hit my $960,000 mark, you guys. So maybe for some of you that are new, I am approaching my million dollar career to date sales with Stampin' Up. And when we get to a million dollars, there's like a huge party and lots of goodies that go with that. But I have this chain and today we get to tear off the $960,000 mark. Yay, we did it, woohoo! I'm super excited because now I have less than $40,000 to go to get to my million dollar mark. And all of your orders always help me. So I really appreciate that. Please make sure you share this video. That really helps me grow my business. I certainly appreciate it. And um, I appreciate all your orders, all your support, all your comments. I'm just so excited to be on this journey with you guys because it's always more fun to be on a journey with someone than alone, right? And that's why I talk a lot about joining my team. It's so much funner to be part of something bigger than just yourself, to be a part of a bigger group, and especially people who are crazy about and passionate about the same thing that you're crazy and passionate about. It's the best of all worlds. So I'm glad I have you guys to share this with, right? Super excited about it. Um, I will let you know when I get to the next uh 10,000 increment I'm going by $10,000 increments here and I can tell you since I went on my trip and I wasn't on Facebook live for a long time it won't be long <laughs> um I'll probably do a drawing in the next day or so that reminds me I need to do a drawing I'm gonna oh I got this right here so this will help me remember I have to do a drawing because I said every time I got to a $10,000 increment I would do a drawing and give away a prize who doesn't love to get prize? Prices. Yeah. Okay. Thank you guys all so much for joining me today for this. Um, if you have any questions, as always, I'm happy to help you. Wow, look at my hair. This is what unironed hair looks like. Yeah, because I came right from the shower. <laughs> Haley goes, it's fine. Kind of ratty, but I promise it'll be better next time. I know you guys could care less, right? I know. I could care less what you look like either. What? Nice Haley says, look at her psycho hair. She's got naturally curly hair. It's beautiful. But of course, you know, she hates it. Okay. I'm going to let you guys go. Have yourselves a wonderful Monday. And um, I'm hoping to have my tip video back up and running on Wednesday. I will get all my advertising out for my kit class and my regular monthly online class soon. And Friday is my kit class release. So I'll have a video for you using the products, showing them to you. You can make a decision whether you would like to get the kit. Okay. Have yourselves a great day. Thank you so much. I always appreciate you being here with me. Bye-bye.